Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my most feared, scary, tall player predictions. Now, guys, for these player predictions, they're super fun to do. Like I said, predictions have been one of my favorite things to do this year. I've been loving them. Uh, Team of the Week specifically has been fun, but even this is fun. Now, of course, they did confirm a few players, so, you know, I got to work those into the predictions as well, and I got to keep them in mind when I do this. But for the most part, I will be predicting the rest. It wasn't, pre uh, the, you know, done. But the only thing is, although they say a guy's name, doesn't mean they're a hero, doesn't mean they're a master, doesn't mean they're an LT. Like, so I, I have to, like, place them where I think everything could fit because, you know, like, they're going to do one current, one pass. Like, I got to make everything kind of work, so it's kind of fun. But guys, before we get into today's video and go through my predictions, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, come join the family, and if you guys haven't already, and want to be part of the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and turn on that noti bell. Shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, John Fernandez. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you guys, and you specifically today, right? For being a part. And if you guys need coins or anything to pick up some players from Most Feared or anything you guys need, head over to Mutt Reserve. Coins are discounted. Use code Poodle in the description down below for 15% off. And that's about it. Let's get into this. So. Go over my predictions, guys. So you guys know you guys know the format. So, so we got scary uh, strong ready, and we got scary sharp. Now those two are typically not the bangers of the promo. Despite I mean Darren Donald's good, but those typically aren't the bangers. The bangers are going to be scary fast and potentially scary tall because there is potential for scary tall to give you some crazy glitchy players. That's what you're looking for. Scary sharp and scary strong are good players, but scary tall and scary fast are like the glitchy, you know athleticism and height that you just can't you can't teach you know and I mean you can't get you can't upgrade that in your cards so you guys on the format we get one past most feared player one current most feared player and then 290 overall offensive and defensive heroes well one offensive one defensive two so you guys know the format here so I have to follow the format of course now let's go over to the auction block I'm gonna show you guys the cards I predicted and kind of how I predict the stats will go from there on out so it's going over to the auction block now these predictions guys if these hit they're pretty fire they're pretty fire i'm not gonna lie uh let's go on over so let's start with one of my lower guys one of the 90 overall offensive heroes i think we could see for the scary tall promo is going to be mike williams now mike williams just makes sense right because he's tall he's physical he's physical you know he's a physical archetype which is typically when you're tall that's kind of what you want and the thing with Mike Williams is he's making some pretty crazy catches this year, and because of his height, he's able to do a lot more. So I feel like Scary Tall would be one of the things you want on him. Six foot four for wide receiver. Now here's the beauty of him: if he's six foot four and they give him a 90 overall hero, he could get some decent stats. Now the only thing that's scary about him is that his, his route running rate may be really, really bad. So it, it'll really hurt how good he is. But if he can get a 90 overall card, he could potentially get a 90 speed with like above a 90 spec catch. So he'd be like one of those cool six foot four jump ball kind of guys. I don't think he's going to be like a main receiver or even a second because he's not going to be a good route runner. But again, he'll still be cool to see a Mike Williams 6 foot 4 monster. And then, of course, on Halloween, if they do the typical enraged stuff, if they end up going that route. Then, you know, it'd be cool to see him, you know, like 8 feet tall on Halloween. But who knows? Uh, okay, so on to the next one. My defensive 90 overall here is going to be Calais Cameron. I did confirm Calais. Now, some people think he's going to be an LTD, but he was an LTD last year. So I don't expect him to be an LTD again this year. So for that reason, I'm going to go here because I don't expect him to be the master either. So, Calais Campbell, 86 overall. Oh, of course. Who just bought that? Why are you buying Calais Campbell right now? So, Calais Campbell, basically, on the Baltimore Ravens. So, his next card, if he gets a 90 overall hero, it'll be a modest upgrade. He'll end up with a 90 block shit threshold, 90 play rec threshold. He'll be super slow, and the pass rushing won't get to where you want it to be. Maybe like an 87. Now, if he does get an 87 power move, though, you can get it up. So, if you have to put pass rush on him, and you, uh, of course, have to put the pass rush cam on him, to get that up to a 90, possibly, you more than likely could. And then it'll be good, but I still I still would rock the defensive tackle. I would not rock him at end because he's so slow. He's way too slow for defensive end. If you but he's he's six foot eight, guys. It would just make sense to have Calais Campbell the scary tall. Because of how tall he is. And it, it just makes sense. It adds up. Now the thing though with Calais Campbell, guys, is that Calais Campbell he needs to be a defensive tackle, like I said. i like if you guys have him, you have to put him there. Maybe you can do the position uh change thing. But you do not want to put him in, and that speed's going to kill you, especially, and this is Mutt, right? Maybe in, like, regular teams or something that's different, but we're playing Mutt, where we have Michael Vicks, and we have, you know, crazy cards. It's not going to it's not gonna work out, but it really depends on that power move. You need to get, that has to get up, and hopefully, you know, I mean, you can power him up as well, so that does count into that thing, so you can get him to 91. But that's what it for those guys. Let's get into my big ones now. Let's get into the bangers. So, first on, 
I'm gonna start off with the Masters, and then I'll get to the LTD. I'm expecting because he did say there's gonna be LTDs. He could have multiple. I'm just gonna predict one because again, it's hard to predict one, let alone multiple. This is the guy that I just want to see. So for the hero, I mean the master, I'm predicting Richard Sherman. He makes sense again to another tall cornerback. He's been a part of Scary Tall before. Now, if he gets a 92 overall, it's a plus six increase. I imagine they give him an 88 speed. It's kind of what I imagine. 88 speed plus powered up. He probably gets an 89 speed. Now, let's go with 90 for the sake of this to make him a usable card here. 90 speed. I'm hoping to get him to a 90. If he gets to a 90 speed, and a 92 overall, his zone coverage would be like a 92. His press would be about a 92. His man would be like an 85. His play rock would be like a 94. His jumping would be like a 93. So, chemed up and powered up and everything. His zone's going to get up to probably like a 97. His press around 97. And then he's going to have a 90 speed, right? In that case, he might actually be really usable because he gets some crazy animations to how tall he is and his reach and everything. And, of course, his stats. I don't know. I mean, it really depends. If they, if they kill him with like an 87 or 88 speed, then he's done. But if he can get to at least a 90, there could be a use for him in a zone scheme for the most part. But that's my that's one of my masters. That's going to be the scary tall current mask. Now for the second one, guys, this next two guys are going to be hard to show stats on because there's no one like them in the game at this current moment. Um, so the thing with them, I have to compare them to another wide receiver that kind of adds up to who I think. So I think we're getting a wide receiver for the offensive master. He also could be the LTD, so my LTD and my master could flip-flop here, to, potentially. Vincent Jackson's the most comparable guy I'm probably going to find is what I'm looking for, and that's going to be my master for the scary tall, Brian Finneran. Now, Brian Finneran didn't confirm that he's going to be in Madden this year over on Twitter, uh, so what better than scary tall? So, Brian Finner, if you guys don't know, he's a Madden glitch. He's like six foot seven at wide receiver. He's been in Madden before, uh, but he's usually LTD, I believe, but this year, I'm hoping they have him as a regular master card. Six foot seven. He's not the craziest, you know, stat wise. Because when you're when you're that tall, they kill. They're gonna kill his stats a little bit just for the sake of like he's gonna break the game. But he is great. Like he's amazing. He's gonna be like he's gonna be well rounded. So he's gonna be like Vincent Jackson. Brian Finner probably gets like a 90, 90 speed plus power up. I'm saying Brian Finner probably ends up around a ninety one speed. He ends up just exactly like this card. He's gonna have all ninety catching, but he's gonna be you know better overall. So he's gonna have all ninety catching, and his route running is gonna be like all eighty sevens, eighty eights. So of course you could probably you can get him up with cams and power ups and everything, but his speed's gonna be about 91, but he's gonna be six foot seven. Probably have great break tackle abilities, probably have great stiff arm and a few other things. Brian Finneran was on the Falcons if you guys didn't know, but Brian Finneran would be super, super, super glitchy. I would love to see Brian Finneran back in the game. That guy was that guy's a monster, man. He's a monster. And he's six, I could be wrong. He could be taller, but I think he's six foot seven. If I'm maybe six foot eight. I'm not mistaken, but that card's gonna be super glitchy. And now, guys, for my LTD. Once again, another comparison to Vincent Jackson here because there's really no one else in the game that you can really compare uh, the next guy to. It's got to it's be Vincent Jackson, right? Yeah, so actually, no, I'm going to go with Chase Claypool, actually, because Chase Claypool is pretty comparable here as well. I'm going to go with Calvin Johnson for the LTD, or he could be the master. I could see Calvin coming back. I know he's going to be coming. I just don't know when, but I'm assuming now. Again, Calvin Johnson, I believe, is six foot five. Now, Calvin's going to be very similar. Calvin's going to probably have a 92 speed, like Chase Claypool. Probably 92, powered up 93, so that's going to be insane. And then Calvin's going to have all 90 catching, just like Claypool, probably around 92, same thing. And then the difference is I think Calvin might have slightly better route running, or exactly the same. Like They're going to be very similar cards. Difference is Calvin's going to be one inch taller. He's going to be a little bit faster. He's going to have slightly better catching, and he's going to have slightly better route running. Now, the only thing that hurts Claypool is he can't get powered up, which does you know, kind of hurt his prospects a little bit, but otherwise... Claypool would have been really, really good. I mean, he is a really good card still, despite everything, but he would need play fake on him, and of course, the power-up would have helped a little bit. But re regardless, pretty much Calvin's going to be a better version of Chase Claypool with the power-up, which is what he was missing. But then Calvin's going to get the intangibles, like after after the catch, like the stiff arm, and maybe he's probably going to get trucking. But again, this Claypool's super good as well. But guys, it's about it for that. That kind of wraps up all of them. Now, we could see Moss, that's true. He could be our scary fast LTD because we did not get one of those, right? We only have a scary strong LTD, which was, uh, oh yeah, but people, don't, a lot of people don't know that. People have been commenting, um, you know, what's the scary strong LTD? And they're like, no, Khalil Mack was scary sharp. No, that's not true. When they drop scary sharp, they drop Khalil Mack with it, but as a scary strong LTD, they're doing them like out of order with the LTDs, I guess. So don't correlate the guy that comes out as an LTD with the promo. So tomorrow's scary fast, we could get a scary tall LTD. Tomorrow, scary tall. We can get a scary sharp LTD that we never got. Maybe we only get two or they did say a couple LTDs. Maybe we get two to make up for the other one. Not sure yet, but guys, that's about it for the video. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel and want to join the Pooter Squad, like the video, comment down below Pooter Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys need coins, I don't have reserve. Take advantage. Use code Pooter for 15% off. And this should be the last video of the day. I did do the content video this morning. If you haven't checked it out, go check that out. Some most feared news there. And then, of course, this video. Make sure to watch it to the end. And I'm assuming if you're hearing this, you probably did. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.